Okay, everybody, welcome back. I'm Ryan Heath from Politico, and we're continuing our Facebook Live casting here from the European Business Summit. And here I've got uh, a man I would call a friend, as well as uh, someone I'm going to interview in a very professional sense now as well, John Pero Letito, and he is the founder and the CEO of um, one of Europe's most promising search engines uh, called Facility Live. And if I can give a little bit of an introduction for you, for the people who don't know you, JP. Uh, Facility Life has a series of patents that um, even Google can't match sometimes. And the question that I want to ask you now, and, and some people might not know Facility Live because um, it tends to do um, business to business, or B to B to C, I think is the, the business model. So you as an ordinary user out there might not know about the company, but they power a lot of the different search functions that you might use um, for different services um, around the world. And you've just set a world record, I think, for the amount of um, capital raised outside of banks and, 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 and the big VC funds uh, for Facility Live. So tell us how that came about and what are you going to spend all of the money on? <laughs> uh, the world record uh, is... Uh, we think that is a world record because we raised uh, 30 million euros mm -hmm. totally from private investors, mm -hmm. 73 until, uh, mm -hmm. uh, until now. And uh, uh, the, the money uh, is to build the platform. Building a platform mm -hmm. is not like building an application or building a, a, mm -hmm. a normal uh, software package. Uh, is something that is very huge during the time to build and uh, um, there are many stages you spoke mm -hmm. about b2b and b2b2c application but we are thinking also to b2c mm -hmm. application and we are migrating the platform uh, in the cloud uh, to give to you in next years the mm -hmm. possibility to have the search of your life okay to have the personal application uh, to search information that now is not possible with the existing algorithms mm -hmm. because there is always an algorithm that drives uh, yeah. every information. Because your algorithm works quite differently to Google, yeah. for example. Yeah, the, the, the reason uh, why we granted patents in 44 countries around the world and the last was uh, yesterday afternoon here uh, while I, uh, whilst I was here uh, in Israel mm -hmm. uh, is that um, uh, we uh, manage information uh, in a completely different way from the Google-like uh, uh, engines. Uh, we are trying to apply to algorithms methods that are more uh, human mm -hmm. uh, uh, than the algorithm that uh, use statistic, probabilistic uh, 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 algorithms, sorry for the repetition, but uh, uh, we are trying to apply publishing and uh, editorial and more human approach to mm -hmm. search and to manage information. Uh, the result is that, for example, that you have a more precise result, less results and more precise, mm -hmm. that you can have in one shot many information, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the whole context of the information mm -hmm. that you need when you are trying for a travel for example or for another thing it's, it's almost a visualization rather than a, a list of results yes. some of the time isn't it, it? it's a different approach but I think also it is very important that there is a, a cultural approach mm -hmm. that is different because we are European mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in Europe we are uh, we have a culture of choice mm -hmm. uh, we, we like uh, to choice uh, information, to choice everything is for us important in our life. And uh, we, are, uh, we are not so uh, used, we are not so, um, we don't like to be driven too much with an algorithm that decides which is the best mm -hmm. book for you, the best information for you, the best travel, the best food, and everything. It's a different approach. There's a re there is a part of the world that like to be mm -hmm. driven, and it, there is a, a part of the world that like to choice. Yes, so in a sense you're kind of, you're a curator, not just a delivery mechanism yes. at some level of the content. Yes, in some... In some uh, some way, yes, but there is always the possibility 
to drive. Uh, our uh, uh, main objective uh, out of the technology, uh, out of the software building, uh, is to, to build a technology that uh, put the, uh, the humans at the center because 40, 50 years of a massive computation uh, took the, the humans at the border of the circle and in the center you have machines. Uh, we think that uh, we have in Europe a culture that flip this kind of uh, approach and we are trying to do it. Mm -hmm. And now in Europe we have to flip a lot of things and I mean it's a cliche now like I, I actually almost get annoyed to hear it when people say oh Europe we have no big tech companies oh we don't have a Silicon Valley we must be doing something wrong. Um, and so I never was a believer in that idea that Europe could have a Silicon Valley. But I also hadn't heard a very good phrase or argumentation around sort of why it could be different. And um, I've been told, but I'd love for you to explain it a bit more, that you've come up with a concept of small valley. Yes. How, how, is that, how is a small valley different from a Silicon Valley? Uh, in Europe, we uh, have no desert mm -hmm. to put 100 kilometers of uh, industries, of uh, farms, of uh, factories, mm -hmm. uh, as in Silicon Valley. But we have uh, also, as I told before, a different culture. So, for example, we have a lot of uh, uh, old, prestigious universities in small mm -hmm. towns. Mm -hmm. In uh, that towns, we have a lot of uh, uh, young people. A lot of uh, entrepreneurs, a lot of excellences that are distributed around the Europe. So you can have a different concept for a, a, a European valley that is a digital environment in mm -hmm. a small town with a dull prestigious university mm -hmm. with excellences in this university, young people, entrepreneurs and probably you can uh, uh, grow up in uh, five to ten years mm -hmm. a lot of this digital environment in Europe and you, we are building an experience, a practical experience mm -hmm. in this sense in Pavia mm -hmm. and we are replying, uh, we are trying also to reply it in the south of Italy, mm -hmm. uh, trying to connect the south of Europe with the north because we are in the London Stock Exchange mm -hmm. elite program also and demonstrating that small cities mm -hmm. can uh, produce innovation and they can, uh, can produce the technology disruption mm -hmm. exactly as the large mm -hmm. the largest environment in Europe and and is it enough to create them or do you need to network them in a way to avoid something like the Nokia trap because I can I can believe the idea that they could work individually for a while and then when we saw what happened in Nokia where the the big driver behind the, the change or the innovation or the transformation yep. or the employment, um, if that goes under, then it, then it takes everything down with it as well. We, so we need the European champions. Mm -hmm. We need the, uh, the actual story of Silicon Valley was not so uh, fantastic mm -hmm. without a generation uh, like, uh, of uh, champions like Bill Gates, Steve mm -hmm. Jobs, Larry Ellison, that were in that point, in, in, mm -hmm. in that place, in the same years, in the yeah. same uh, 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 industrial context. Uh, we need to find uh, uh, some uh, uh, companies, some champions, and probably we need these true platforms, through the uh, basic technologies that can allow Europe to be an innovating, a, a disruptive place uh, for the future. Because the problem uh, of a, a, an Europe without platforms mm -hmm. is that innovation is done elsewhere. Yes. And uh, the problem uh, to try to be on the market without having uh, the main technologies, the main platform mm -hmm. here, uh, is that you wait what happened in other place of the yeah. world, in uh, Silicon Valley for software, in uh, Far East for hardware, and you, uh, you remain a follower. Mm -hmm. The problem of Europe in the future is that if we don't build 
platform in Europe, mm -hmm. probably Europe will remain a follower place. Well, I think Europe needs some leaders and it strikes me that Facility Live could become one of those leaders. So I want to thank you for sharing all of those insights and, and good luck with the next year and good luck with spending the 30 million. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, much. JP. A Bye. pleasure. Sure.